Hey Saddle Hunters, thanks for tuning in. I've got a really neat video for you today. Brand new product from a great company that supports saddle hunting. Today we're going to go over the brand new Wild Edge Battlement Platform. This is basically a collaboration between Wild Edge and Out on a Limb to bring you a perch with Out on a Limb's kind of proprietary bracket system in one platform. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you all about it. All right, so here it is, the Wild Edge Battle Mint. You can see its general shape is just like the Wild Edge Perch, but then it's got a little extra reinforcement in the back where it's attached to this out on a limb bracket. They've got a really nice logo for the platform, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of the Wild Edge Antler with a guy hanging there saddle hunting from it, pretty slick looking. So this will attach to the tree just like any other out on a limb platform, the podium or the Ridge Runner, Ridge Runner XL. It's got those, those two ears with your typical Wild Edge strap that, that hooks over that. They have included castration bands to cinch those down tight on the ears, and it works pretty good. It has a very uh, robust adjustment system. So if I flip it up here, you can see they've got this big knob that you can turn in and out to adjust the pitch of the platform. Let me show you, I'll, I'll put it all the way in so you can get an idea of the pitch. It's not extremely low, but hopefully you can kind of see the angle there. I'll show you when I get it on a tree later in the video. And then you can, uh, you can back it out quite a ways. You've got a, it's got really nice coarse threads so it can, it can go out quite a ways, and then you can see the change in the upward pitch there. This is not a captured screw, so you do have to be careful that you don't back it out all the way, but guys, this, this platform is built really, really well. The, the finish on it is good. The actual perch part of it, or the platform, I guess you would say, really has a nice kind of rough texture. I'm assuming it's a powder coat finish. And then they've got all these grooves cut along the top of every one of those pieces of metal. So it gives you good, good traction. It seems very stable from when I've had it on the tree. When you get right on on the edge, you can feel a little bit of movement, but nothing, nothing major. I did weigh the platform. It comes in exactly what they said. It's three pounds, 10 ounces, just the platform. The strap is another seven ounces, so I was right about four pounds and one ounce for the entire package. So it's really kind of a, a medium weight. It's, it's not as light as the Predator, and it's not as heavy as some of these larger platforms that are coming out recently. I want to give you an idea of size before we go outside and I show you it on the tree. Across the front from, from end to end, it's right at 16 inches. And then the narrower part of the front is right about 14 inches. The platform is a smidge over, right at seven inches deep to the face of the bracket. And then the width in the back, just shy of seven and a half and throughout the, basically the width of the whole thing, six and three quarters to seven, depending on where you're measuring at. So this, this section is about seven by seven and then 16 inches wide across the front on the wings. So. We'll take it outside now and I'll show you a little bit about how to attach it to the tree and give you some of my first thoughts about it. All right, everyone, so we're outside and I wanna show you a little bit about the battle mint and just kinda of how, how to put it on the tree, how to position with it. You can see, just like other out on a limb platforms, it folds up pretty flat, it's totally collapsed. And I, I've just taken the strap and wrapped it around a bunch of times and then looped it around the ear and pulled it tight to, to keep it all together and that seems to work pretty good. I've put a night eyes gear tie right here on the top middle of the platform to help me hang it and I'll, I'll show you how I do that. So I'm gonna kind of run through just like as if I had climbed the tree and, and attached the platform on. So I'm gonna hook it onto my saddle using that night eyes gear tie. So that's gonna serve two different purposes. You'll be able to see that in a second here put my lineman's belt around the tree so you guys have an idea of how this would actually work when you were hunting 
All right, so let's say I've climbed the tree. I'm at the top of my steps now. I'm gonna hang my platform. I would reach behind me. I would take it and unhook it from my molly webbing. And then you can just take that night eyes gear tie and loop it around your lineman's belt for hands-free installation on the tree. Take the strap off the little ear, and then unwrap it. That's the, kind of the downside of wrapping it around the ear. It's a little snug fit down there. And this strap, just so you guys have an idea, is seven feet long. So a lot longer than some other platform straps that are on the market. But to install this, you're just gonna go around the tree. And then what I like to do is to pull out as much of the slack from the strap as I can. I'm on a pretty thin tree right now, so I'm gonna pull a lot of slack out. What I'll do is loop it around the ear just temporarily, all right? So I can get everything in place. Cinch down the little castration band and then I'll put some tension on it. So now at this point, I know it's not gonna fall off the tree. I can take my gear tie off, fold the platform down. What you wanna do is lift, lift this up and get it as level as possible and then tighten it so that there's a, there's a curved arch at the top of the platform. You want that against the tree and you're gonna tighten it as best you can. And then from there, you're gonna to want to lift it up and cam it over and that will get it pretty tight and then you can just take your gear tie twist it out underneath and you're ready to step on so let me get up here and I'll show you a little bit about positioning on it okay so I'm standing up here on the platform and it's real zoomed in right at my feet and I just wanted to start off by showing you guys a little bit about whether or not and what kind of movement there might be in the platform when you're on it so Keep in mind, I'm a pretty light guy. I'm only about 160 pounds for reference, but there I am, got a decent amount of weight right on the front. You can see it's pretty stable. When I move out here to the sides, the platform rocks up, but I don't feel tons of flexing under my feet. It's pretty, pretty solid. Let's see if I go all the way out here onto the edge, I don't really feel much movement. I don't know what you guys can see, but you can see these wings are nice. You can position your feet all the way around them, get inside those corners. Gives you a lot of flexibility to move, but I don't know. I don't, it seems pretty solid guys. I'm not feeling really a whole lot of wiggle room that's noticeable or definitely not stuff that would be noticeable while hunting see that if it's cammed over good it doesn't it doesn't move a whole lot so back the camera out now and give you a little bit of an idea of how you can use it to position for a shot all right guys so here i am on the platform and i'm just going to give you a little bit of an idea of how you can use this platform to position for a shot. One of the things that has made the perch so popular over the years is these wings that are on the end of it. And they give you a lot of flexibility to move around and, and take weird angles on the trees. So let me just show you here, give you an idea first of how much room your feet have on the platform. There, I've got size ten and a half shoes and those are my toes right on the edge and then they hang over the back so this isn't a platform that you can you know stand up and put your entire boot on if that's a concern to you but uh, really good for leaning you know you've got pretty good support with a stiff sole boot anyway even even on these sides where it, it doesn't extend all the way to the back I feel pretty pretty stable I could I could stand up on this and uh, and maneuver a little bit so give you an idea with this platform shots you know of course with any any platform shots from basically 11 o'clock all the way back to four four or five are pretty easy one of the nice things about this this is 
it, I can basically just keep rotating around this way and pretty easily shoot to at least three, if not two o'clock. So I can just keep my boots in that corner and boom, there's three o'clock all day long. And that wasn't even a whole lot of movement. And I feel very stable. I don't have my feet propped up against a tree or anything goofy. And I could, I could shoot. I mean, I could shoot, take that one foot off. I could shoot all the way to 11 o'clock just by rotating around like this. And I feel pretty stable. My boots got a lot, a lot to grab on the back side of that, that wing. So I could see this being really advantageous for shooting the weak side. If I wanted to go around this side of the tree, I can do that too. I mean, that's, that's easy shooting right there. Put my knee bang against the tree and I'm at, you know, one o'clock easy go around and I could shoot to two 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 o'clock pretty easy three o'clock might be a little bit of a, a challenge I know some people though like to stand up on the platform so I'm going to show you whether or not that's feasible this might be a little tricky because this tree is kind of leaning towards me but if I were to stand up and take the strap over my shoulder As long as the lead strap's tight, or my tether, I could shoot. I could shoot pretty easy on the weak side, and I don't feel like I'm I'm unsupported. Even on this this leaning tree, I feel pretty stable. Like I could I could shoot that way. So, uh, guys, this this is a good platform. I I like the wings. I've I've never hunted out of the perch, but but man, just rotating around like this seems to make that weak side shot pretty easy. Of course, by rotating that way, you don't keep the tree between you and the deer. But, but uh, if you make this movement slow, I think I think you could very easily rotate around like this and take take shots on the weak side. So, hopefully, that gives you an idea of how to use the platform to position and just the, the size of it. I know different people are like different kinds of platforms. Some people like the real big ones. Some people like smaller ones. I'm a guy that tends to like small ones. I want one that I can pack easy. I want one that's lightweight and, and that gives me the ability to shoot 360 degrees. And, and this platform does that pretty easily. So let me get down, give you a few thoughts as we close out. Okay, so I promised to give you a view of the angle abilities of this platform. So right there, that bolt is tightened in all the way. So I'm gonna walk up, put a little pressure on it so you can see what it would look like when you were standing on it, and then I'll back the bolt out as far as it can go. Really easy to adjust. If you were wanting to adjust it while, while in the tree, you could do it. I would just put your finger on the back side like that so you can feel it, so you know when it's getting close to, to backing out. Probably right there. And that's about as far as an upward angle as you could get. Hopefully that gives you a good idea. All right guys, thanks for watching my review of the brand new Wild Edge Battlement. I think this is a fantastic platform. I love the positioning ability that the two wings on the end give you. And if you're looking for a platform that's not too heavy, that packs up pretty well, and gives you a lot of flexibility to shoot in the tree, I'd suggest you check out the Wild Edge Battlement. It's a fantastic, robustly made product. Thanks for watching. Keep your eyes tuned, we've got a bunch more videos coming. I'm gonna drop one on my saddle hunting pack, another video about how to tie knots for saddle hunting, as well as my unique technique for climbing SRT. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.